last year, the 2024 has had more earthquakes than any year we've seen since 1988, which is actually a statement. The last 20 years have been particularly quiet here in Southern California. If you look over the long-term history, we usually have more earthquakes than we've been having for the last decade or two. So this year is now an active year again, much like we used to see. And, you know, when you have a lot of earthquakes, you do tend to have a lot of earthquakes. It doesn't tell us, oh, an earthquake's coming here. But it does seem like we we should be expecting a somewhat to continue at a higher rate uh, until it goes back down again. And does that mean that it is releasing some pressure and taking us further away from the big one or not? Unfortunately, no. All right. So what, the most constant feature of earthquakes is that the relative number of large to small is a constant that for every magnitude seven, you have 10 magnitude sixes, 100 magnitude fives, 1,000 magnitude fours, et cetera. So if your rate of fours goes up, your chance of having a bigger one would go up about the same amount. And the bigger ones release so much more energy than the small ones that given that that ratio stays constant, you can never replace the big ones with the small ones. Mm. Hmm, okay, well, it's always a good time to remind people what exactly to do in an earthquake. So if people uh, get the warning on their phones in time, can you just go over what they should do in various situations? If you're at home, if you're driving in the car, if you're at work, if you're on a TV set? <laughs> well, you guys at least have a desk you can go under, right? Yeah. Just in true. case the lights above you start coming down. And that's that's really true for everybody. We have built our houses and buildings in California to not collapse. And overwhelmingly, that's true. Trying to get out of a building is very, very dangerous. We see broken legs and sprained ankles from people trying to run when the earth is going to throw them to the ground. So the best thing to do is to get under a sturdy table that will protect you from flying objects. And in the really, really rare case that there might actually be some collapse of a building, the tables do a great job of actually protecting you from that and giving you a safe place to wait to be to be dug back out in, in that very, very rare situation. So drop, cover, hold on at all possible. If you're in a car, you probably aren't gonna feel it unless it's really big. I was parking my car when the earthquake happened yesterday and had no idea that we'd had an earthquake till I started getting phone calls. Um, and, and, but in a really strong earthquake, you can, you know, you'll start feeling like you're losing control of the car. That happened to me in Whittier Narrows, and, and it took uh, realizing that the light poles were moving to realize it was an earthquake and not some problem with my steering. Mm -hmm. So you want to try and, and slow down. Don't brake suddenly, but try to slow down and pull to the side of the road if you're getting strong enough shaking to affect your driving. A few years ago, you worked very closely with the city of Los Angeles to help us prepare for the big one in terms of construction and all of that. Can you give us a sense of where things are now have has the city responded in an adequate fashion yeah so there were two big laws that were passed about buildings one was about the soft first story buildings like the northridge meadows apartment that collapsed in in 94. the retrofit of those buildings is almost complete it was supposed to be finished by 2022 obviously there's going to be a few stragglers that you know have to be forced to to act on this but mostly that's done in the city of los angeles um, for those of us who live in other communities, uh, several, Santa Monica, Pasadena, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, uh, and Torrance have all moved to retrofit, have mandatory retrofit of these types of buildings. Several others are looking at it. Many more haven't dealt with it. So that needs to move beyond just Los Angeles and these other few cities. The other bad type of building is called non-ductile concrete. Really, only Los Angeles, Santa Monica, and West Hollywood have passed mandatory retrofit of those. Because it's so much more difficult, they're given a lot of time, and we're still very much in the middle of that process. I'd like to see more of that go through because non-ductile concrete buildings kill the most people in earthquakes. Mm. Okay, and before we go, is there anything you want to remind SoCal residents about emergency preparedness? Oh... I think the earthquake is probably the best reminder that we could have. I think just remember that the last 20 years has been quiet and we should be expecting on the long run to be seeing more than we have recently. And, you know, being prepared doesn't just mean having supplies, having water is important, but talking with your friends and family about it and having a plan together, that's probably more important than anything else.